Thanks to the Supplemental Security Income SSI program, millions of vulnerable Americans who don't have enough income and resources can qualify for SSI payments that help them make ends meet and, in some scenarios, even overcome poverty. If you qualify for this program or are considering applying, you should learn more about the program conditions and payment dates, since they may change from time to time. Managing money can be challenging, but even more so for those Americans who lack the necessary funds to cover their living expenses. For this reason, it is always important to have a monthly financial budget, even in the most difficult financial times, as it will help you track your expenses and search for alternative ways to get additional sources of income. Social Security has confirmed that there won't be more SSI payments until October. The Social Security Administration uses a broad timetable each year to structure payments for all programs. Therefore, understanding the rules is critical for avoiding errors and misunderstandings about the relationship between dates and programs. Since the SSA delivers payments for the treatment, survivor, SSDI, and SSI programs, there are different payment dates and conditions to consider. Nonetheless, SSI payments are simpler to understand as all recipients get paid on the same day. According to this year's Social Security payment schedule, beneficiaries of Supplemental Security Income SSI always get their payments on the first of each month, unless that day falls on a weekend or federal holiday. Whenever this occurs, the SSA will reschedule the payment for the previous working day. Based on the payment schedule for the remaining half of the year, beneficiaries will get their benefits on the following days. As you can see, some months like September and November come without SSI payments. Beneficiaries should not worry, as this doesn't mean that they won't receive their benefits, but due to changes in the schedule, they will receive these SSI payments in advance. In other words, as September 1st falls on a weekend, the SSI program will send their benefits on August 29th, which is the preceding business day. This identical scenario will occur in November, with beneficiaries receiving this month's benefits on October 31st rather than November 1st. On average, recipients from this program will get SSI payments worth $698, but depending on their filing category and income and resources, they could receive other payment amounts. For instance, those who applied as individuals and meet income and resource requirements can receive up to $943 in SSI payments. On the other hand, those who applied as couples can expect to receive up to $1,415 per month. Remember that for additional information about your monthly payment amount, you can always access your My Social Security account, where you can download financial statements and request further information about your monthly benefits.